Paulie. Right. Don't count Andy. the camera. Yeah, How are you? <laughs> Whoa, that. It's a sale. Oh, it's got to be a 16 mil ding there for this one. Where is it? Okay, yeah, behind you. That meal. How many? 16 mil ball end on that end. Can't be that. That's got to be this. So we can't race if they ain't got one. You can't play it. Oh, right. Yeah, but I'll change, I'll change it definitely. Thank you. I'll have a look in the back, you might even have one. That's fine, as long as you have got something, if not. Got a bit of tape over it. Yeah, just put the tape into like a circle. Oh, I know. It was a good day yesterday, wasn't it? You know, weather was just... Well, you won. Of course it was a good day. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you, Max is flying now, isn't he? He is, isn't he? My God. I know. Now he is. He just... looks at the, the, the proper business now. I know, he's very determined, isn't he? Yeah. Well, he looks like you, to be honest. Does he? Just a slimmer version. <laughs> a lot slimmer. <laughs> His bike's quicker than mine, or is it just that I'm too fat? I don't know. <laughs> He's going into the corner really hard now. He is, isn't he? Yeah. Now, I was well impressed with him yesterday. When I saw how, how you went in the first heat, I thought, I know he's going to win this today. <laughs> but I come back at that first day, he was nice and clean. I was blasted. <laughs> I ain't following you again. <laughs> but it's so hard, isn't it? Because if you get behind, they are hard to overtake. Yeah. You know, you've got to ride them flat out. You've got to keep it rolling all yeah. the time. Yeah. I've just done both engines, so going good at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> Morning. Morning, how are we doing? All right? Yeah, all right, mate. All right. Sorry, this moment. Um, Still doing it, then? <laughs> Another year. You have got that camera that makes my ass look bigger, <laughs> No, this is a good one. This one makes you look slimmer, Cole. Oh, thank you, Bob. <laughs> You're such a star. That's just what you need. I think you say I'm lucky. You could end up being like me. <laughs> <laughs> Is that 11 or 77? 11. That's 11, is it? Oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh good. definitely going to keep an eye out on this today. I can't wait to see him on the bars. Well done, boy. Well done. Hello, right, Andrew. How's the Disarano going? You got on your, on your second crate yet? I should tell you tonight. Or in the morning. <laughs> I, shall, I shall definitely be on it later, that's for sure. Come on in. <laughs> you don't like that, do you? All riders, please sign on for you. You must tell me what Gary Jackson had on. Tell us what for riders, what do you think, please? He, 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 he read the bike, he'll tell you. Morning all. Yeah. Especially when he bends the rules yourself. Bend the rules? What are you talking about, bending the rules? We're not bending them, we're just not quite to the line. Come on, just go over here. This wheel, I'll so has anything done, been done with the engine since last year? No, not a thing. Not a thing? Not a thing. In all fairness, it only had a rebuild not long before the end of the season anyway. Alright. Oh, so... Running alright on this side. Oh, So what's with the weight loss? Been down the gym? Um, not really. Just more, just better. Make better food. Yeah, better. Uh, yeah, eating proper food. Yeah, yeah. Um, not conscious of what I'm doing rather than. Yeah. Yeah, good. Uh, it does make a difference. Yeah. 
but uh, yeah, the plan was to roll out completely do everything. That looks but, bloody huge in the city in the back of there, doesn't it? Look. But, uh, so when do you think you come out on your new one? It'll be this year. It will be yeah, this yeah, 100%. Year. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just don't want to rush it. I want to get it all nah, right. No, no point. Yeah. There's quite a few guys who've got new bikes this year, so. Yeah. 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 I think they're in the same boat as me. Well, I think so, yeah. I mean, Paul whiteley has got a new bike. Yeah. So I can't wait to see how he goes on that because yeah. he went quickly up on his old one. Yeah. But it's the same a as you, really. A lot of them have got all got under and all, haven't they? Have they? Yeah. Paul's got under in that new one. Um, what's, oh, with, what's with a different number then? Uh, it's it's already someone's already, already, already got it. Yeah, yeah. 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 They're trying it in early enough to get it, but it'll be unlucky. So, have you practiced on it at all? No. First, not at all. First turn over on a rock. So, yeah. You're not nervous whatsoever, are you? <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> I, I could see that. <laughs> But they, go out there, give it a go. they are easier to ride than left-handers. Well, well, they by the end of the day. When but I'm no, they, they, they are. Because if, if you lose a passenger, yeah, yeah if, he, if he falls off the back, you can still go round. You, you won't notice much difference. I'm really hoping I won't fall off. Yeah, I'm hoping you don't fall off. At least I don't get hurt. <laughs> but on a left-hander, you fall off on a left-hander. It hurts. It hurts and you can't turn the corner. Still yet to come. Don't say that. Nah, you'll enjoy this experience today, I'll tell you. I already had a couple of goes, so he's in good hands. He, he's in good hands, I like that. He said, I've already had a couple of goes, he's in good hands. Yeah, yeah, he's already had a couple of goes. So at least I don't have to worry about him, to be honest. He's just got to worry about me. Yeah, but that is that is the thing. So you, you you won't have to worry about him. You just go out and do what you want to do, and he will help move the bike know, where it should, yeah. should be. Yeah. Yeah. No. I'm excited. Yeah. Good. I can see. I can see you. <laughs> see you, Joe. <laughs> Morning break. Yeah. All right. Mate. So, have you had any practice? No. Not at all. No. I don't know what I'm going to do yet, I'm just using this as a practice. I don't know if I'm fit enough. Uh, yeah, so how's your leg now? It's, yeah, it's getting there, but it's still got a long way to go, yeah. So. Uh, have you had all the pins out and everything? Yeah, so I didn't Screws. have no pins to begin with. So I, I well, last time I see it's you at Chelmsford, you had a big cage round. Yeah, so it's all external, so there's no metal work inside. So it's getting there, it just doesn't work properly at the minute. So I'll see what happens. I'll go out and practice, see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go out practice, see what happens, and just go from there, really. So, how much movability have you got in it? Not a lot. It's going to be a struggle to get on the running board. Is it? <laughs> Don't bend that much. Then. No, once it's down, it'll be alright, but it's getting right. there. I'll, I hope it goes well for you, anyway. Yeah, I'm just here to. Just. Uh, yeah. yeah. Just don't, just yeah, don't practice. over overdo it. No, that's it. So, so just go out there and do a few laps and see how you feel. Yeah, nice one. All right, mate. All right, cheers. See you, Brad. And of course, you've got a reasonable passenger, so. Hello, Bob. Hello, How mate. Are we? Yeah, all right. Winded well? I think so. Yeah, I've seen you. When I'll see you. Oh. Oh. How are you, pal? <laughs> are you all right? Good to see you. Hi, boys. You good? Oh, right. uh, yeah, so we're going to find this sidecar that I'm going to be. This, this is the man who, who needs uh, certified. He's like the thing. He's like the thing. <laughs> yeah, he really got a phone call, really. He needs oh, certified. <laughs> I've, I've ran a lot You're trying people. to find your side car? I need, I need to go find where it it's is. It's up over there. That way, mate. Right. Yeah, it's, it's up over there. <laughs> it's the one which looks like 77, but it's not. It's 11. And he honestly thought he was going to bowl me over then. <laughs> <laughs> he's nuts, isn't he? Yeah, we he, he, well he is crazy. Yeah. Sorry. You alright? Yeah, not bad. Yeah, you? Yeah, not bad. 
Glad to be back out again. Aye. Glad to be back out again. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, winter end, not for me, it ain't. Well, it is, but I, I try to keep everyone entertained. So, so many times you've watched the video over again, isn't it? I don't like putting too many of the, the crashes on. Yeah. You know what I mean? Good well, Warren. Yeah, what are you doing? You alright, mate? You out today? Yeah. Are you? Yeah. Stay away from them stakes this time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you alright? Yeah, I'm alright. Good. It was nice yesterday. Yeah. Bloody freezing today. Yeah. So, right, anyway, put on some good racing. I don't want anyone going at miles out in front. Didn't you this year? <laughs> yeah. yeah, that looks nice, mate. Got it going about six o'clock last night. That's it, it's just been finished. So, what, what engine you got in it? No, uh, cross I don't understand it yet. So, what's so that's that's the big bang one, so it runs a bit like a twin. Oh, right, Not a triple twin, yeah. So, it's the same as what we got in the speedway bike, the right hander, and everything. So it's totally yeah. brand new. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Mark Holland's built it. Can't wait. Yeah. I could see that when you come out on your, your left hander before, I could I could literally see the frustration. Yeah. In not being able to beat the other guys. It, no, it just didn't got everything we tried, we tried so much on it and it just didn't we couldn't get it going properly, which I haven't given up with it, I still want to do it at some point, but It's always competitive, you've got the pen folds here. Sorry? Got all the pen folds here, so. Oh, yeah, we've got an easy day, haven't we? Yeah. <laughs> got pen fold, pen fold, pen fold.
So they're coming out again for hit one of the two fifty solos, delete number forty one eighty one. Already giving you all the yeah, non starters, but you should have them in your uh Right there, the outside of that pitch corner, 
comes alongside Buddy Bill together, going down the back straight once again in a throw in David Knowles to get well cleared the front. Lost that flag again, then pull your way to the David Knowles. Still the action's on the second in third place. Buddy Bill again, Buddy Bill on the inside, 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 Buddy Bill
back for key from the five women, also driving the car in the chair for the first time. And then of course on the weekend just at 14, so they probably go to ice racing in the Holland, and if you get to the top, you want the five, we'll go in the uh, we'll jump a bit more. Cooper chasing Andre getting the back to the pitch inside the room for him to lead this and Jan Wurstel from Prince. He missed the star, but look at him go. Look at Jan coming round the outside. Cooper knows he's coming. He's going down to the front. 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 He's going down to the
17 247 386 83 and 21. Race 6, 30, 500 side card. Hold 
to make a good start. That's exactly what he's done. He's got the lead going down that back straight for something trying to get through on the inside of him. But Trenfold to has his advantage and it's uh, Josh Trenfold not particularly quick away there before he backs away through in the second race. This is Will Trenfold. He's got the third. Still the advantage, just trying to find a way past and get through on the inside there. Together going down that back straight, will again retake the lead with Josh pushing really hard there in such a place. It's Will Penfold leads and Josh Penfold in second. Morris has got the third place position. Coming to the complete lap number two. John still holding second place position. Morris is in third. Again, John Penfold gets very close. He's got through on the inside. Will Penfold went too wide upon that pitch corner. That's allowed Josh to get through on the inside. Will Penfold trying to come back around the outside line, entering that top corner once again. Josh Ward in mid track. We're all looking for a gap through on the inside. And now he's in there to move it. Will Penfold holding second place. Morris is dropping back in third. Down the back straight they go once again. Again, Will Penfold. Had problems on the exit from that fifth corner. That's where he lost his advantage two laps ago. And it's Josh Penfold, the clear leader, coming off that top corner for the uh, final time. Josh Penfold wins the first seat of left hand. Josh Penfold picks up the second place. And that will give Darren Morris third place position in the first seat of the left hand. Race 7 result and a win for number 16, Josh Penfold and George Simmons. Second number 22, Will Penfold and Freddie Wood. And third number 4, Darren Morris, Chad Williams. 16, 22 and number 4. Race 8, left handers again with 4 and action. Billy Penfold's moved through into third. We'll pick them out as they come by us for the first time then. Billy is in third. Adrian Norton is in fourth. He could just between the fours and down the back straight. They go on lap number two then. And it is Danny Hill who still leads. And Tommy Penfold trying to close the gap in second place. Billy Penfold's consolidating third. The action is for first and second in the moment. Adrian North will come across the line in third. 
To win for number 124, Danny Hill, Callum Gray. Second number 96, Tommy Penfold, Will Navy. And third number 93, Adrian North, Ryan Knowles. Fourth number 125. 124, 96, 93, and 125. Race 9, Thursday, 350s, the lead number 209.
the side to Scott Ryan has made a good start on his leader getting the back seat for the first time John Creek has gone through into that second position but he's been challenged really hard by second place Sean Bickley making a move around the outside as they come by a set in Ryan Alicia for 15 seconds he's got the third set within four he's got down in five and he's got 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 Bickley's got that second, Priest is in third. Gent is in four, they're starting to spread themselves out there. The first team is off by Solo, the Royal Dooley. Bickley's got the second, Priest in third. Gent in four. Nuttell five. Holy six. And Steve Downing in seventh place. So the one to leave them going in that top corner once again. They really are spread in this first seed of this. 350 Ashton, wide is a clear leader on the last lap. The second is around, second, three, third, second, four. Still the top four, the leader is half again, that back straight for the final time. In the first city of Bicello, race number 10 on the program. Scott Ryan leads going into that last corner. And it's Scott Ryan who wins. He's still one of the uprights. John Bickley picks up the second place. John Priest comes across the line in third. Cody five, no sorry. Good girl five. Cody six. And Steve Downing in seventh place. Race ten is off. Wins number twenty-one, Scott Ryan. Second number forty-five, Sean Bickley. And third number five, John Priest. 57, 11, 18, and 2, 8, 0, 21, 45, 5, 57, 11, 18, 2, 8, 0. Race 11, first seat to big chair, to lead number 7, and Paul Cooper's passenger is Terry Madley.
but he's been groove there of course they weren't six out to take the first race so it's Paul White one just putting a groove there from his uh, gate in position Interesting indeed because Cross and White now look very quick in practice, as did Will Offen. So uh, they all three get away together. It could be an interesting first corner. And this is the second heat of the big chairs. Sorted out in the right position for this third leg of the big chair. Where we go then, the ragged start. Mike Hoskin took through into second place. Holland have been left on the line there, so just a free through as Mike Hoskin makes his move round the outside. The lead going on the back straight, but again, he almost lost that lead. He retakes it again as they go into fifth corner once again then. He's a lot down now, he's really got four in action in his 30th of the big chairs as Mike Hoskins starts to pull away the front end. Fails to hold that second place position. Reynolds is in third with the horns in four. Pretty well put out now, he's in third leg of the chair. Mike Hoskins holds that second. Second leg of the chair, third. Mike Hoskins holds the last down now, he's in third leg of the chair. 
down in four. He's moved to a length of the space between first and second now as it's uh, Mike Austin with uh, Jordan Fisher his past year. Leads him on the last lap then. Clearly the length of the straight field of Anthony Sells in second. Rooks again gets a little bit closer in third. But it's quite hot for us. We've just been winning right. The gap is closing all the time between second and third. Rooks in third. And Holm is a non-finisher. Your results that way. Ten a win for number 3991. Mike Austin and Jordan Fish. Second number 778, Anthony Sales and Steve Smith. And third number 173, Bradley Reynolds and Norman Lisa. 991, 778, 173. Race 14, starting the second leg, beginning with the 250s to lead number 41. And you delete 57, 6 and 66 on the 250. Every number of these with David Noel, Rick McCarver and two drags all in action in this uh, race number 15.
Results of range 15, win for number 64, David Knowles. Second number 79, Ricky Scarborough. And third number 46, Austin Richards. 10, 25, 339. 64, 79, 46, 10, 25, 339. Race 16, delete number 63, put in number 18, Rob Heath. Hickbox closing the gap on Harrison. They go into that top corner once again. 
But race developing for the top three places, one lap to go then. Colin Manu, in second, Derek Lewis in third. Yeah, first is again one lap to go. Derek Lewis falling into the big one, almost put inside. Harris, maybe stick against it, one goes through. Into second place, can he get to Harris? They go. Into that top corner, four, three, four, time. Hits one, Colin again, back into it. Jeremy Lewis is second, Derek Lewis is third. Into that top corner, four, three, four, time. Hits one, Colin again, back into it. Jeremy Lewis is third. Derek 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 Lewis is third. Race 17 result, win for number 26, Luke Harris. Second number 17, Gareth Hickmott. And third, 247, Jordan Derrick. 386, 281. 26, 17, 247, 386, 281. Race 18 again, could be very interesting indeed, it's Paul Cooper and Chad Wood start clashing again in this race 18, delete number 12, Dan Winston, talking and done, and are readily available for the Cheshire meeting in the pit today, anybody wants to ride it, turn their back and that exciting Broadwood track, so and their race are available for their meeting today. Very eventful race, 18, won by number 69, Chad Words, Hull. Second number, 47, Will Thurlby. And third number, 83, Steve Dorr. Fourth number, 21, 69, 47, 83, 21. Race 19, second leg of the 500, that's the programme. Once again, then. 
Still the order the same, coming off that top corner for the complete lap number two. is not coming out this time with these three crews equal distance between them that's Mr. Clear Leader in that top corner once again with the last lap flag being made ready it's Mr. Leader on the last lap there so he's still holding his stops him on the top corner so we're down to two now we started off the five we're down to two as Mr. Deer he goes in the back say Clear Leader for the um, lap number four it's still Fields who holds that second place position Second flag down, and George Smith is number 19. Second place we go to number 42. Results of race 19, a win for 842, Jordan Smith, Joe Page. Second number 42, Simon Field, Carl Bedingfield. 842 and 42. They're still locked together for second, third and fourth. Billy Benfold goes round the outside to move through to second. And Will Benfold finds himself last of four at the moment. And it's in the last of four. Morris has got the third in surprise. And he's Will Benfold, fourth of four. They're getting the back straight once again. It's uh, Hill has stolen the march at the front. It's still Tommy Penfold holding that second place position. Now Will Penfold's now gone through the third. Relegated Morris to fourth. Big up there in second place. He's got a cracking race first and then that's it again. Will Penfold really wide upon that pitch corner. I think he might have come to a stop up there. That's allowed more through into that uh, third place position. As it's held the leader then with uh, Tommy Penfold for all he knows to try and get through to the lead position. Darren Morris is in third, they go to the back straight, the closest Tommy Benfold has got to Hill, but Hill again pulls away as they go to the back straight for the final time then. Hill the leader, Tommy Benfold in second, Morris is in third, check the flag down, and Danny Hill makes it to the team. Tommy Benfold picks up another second place. Result of race number 20, wins number 124, Danny Hill, Callum Ray. Second number 96, Tommy Penfold, William Maiden. And third number 4, Darren Morris and Chad Williams. 124, 96 and number 4. Josh Penfold's passenger is George Simmons, that's number 16 in race 21. Track work after race 26, thank you for the roller and the gentleman for the track to please be on standby to need some track work done after race 26, thank you.
has been left on the line there, so we're down to the two and he's got a lot together on to see the Billy Penfold on the outside and goes the lead position and both of them a lot together there for the lead. And they come out of that top corner for the uh, first time then. The front on the back, but he made an absolutely dreadful start. He's got a mountain to climb now, then, as north it is, he leads him into that top corner once again. Billy Penfold on the second, Josh Penfold in third. Can he close the gap at all? The lead is two. North Penfold in second. to do in a lap and a quarter. Down the back straight they go once again then. North the leader. Billy Penfold in second. Josh Penfold still in third. And that gap hasn't closed at the moment. As a race leader about to take the last lap flag that leader is Adrian North. But Billy Penfold is third. is still in third. Number four. North the leader. Billy Penfold second. Josh Penfold in third. Pretty well spread out now in this uh, Fourth heat of the left hand side car and just central car seems to close that gap on the leading two. So it's going to be Adrian North to pick up his first one in ride of the afternoon. So he's going to get the second, just central in the third place. Race 21, win for number 93, Adrian North and Ryan Knoll. Second number 125, Billy Penfold, Warren Atkinson. And third number 16, Josh Penfold and George Simmons. Race 22 is next, second heat, 350 solo, delete 209. Thank you. 
It's on the line then for the next seat of the big chair action. Away we go then, Colin Blackboard has made a good start. Where's Mark Cossey? He's got the room around the outside, who gets the corner first? It's Cossey who gets the corner first. Blackboard holds that second place this stage. Water back straight once again then. So no Paul Cooper on four six. He is in third place. Yes, I've seen him tucked into the third place there. And Mark Cossey leads to Colin Blackboard holds the second place. They've got him going again and he's just hanging on to third place at the moment as Mark Cock is pulling away from Colin Blackmore. They race up that back straight once again. He's with this between the three crews. Mark Cock are very much on course to make it two to two in the heat for the big chairs and totally in control. Look behind him. They go up the back straight for the final time. It's impressive stuff again from the uh, Masters Champions Elite in that uh, pitch corner for the uh, third time. The last lap flag we may ready this time. Then Cocker leads back. Cooper's getting a little bit closer to third. And the race is going to be Cocker totally in control. The Blackboard holding third. Cooper, Blackboard holding second. Cooper is in third. They're at the pitch corner for the final time this time. Two impressive winning rides there for Mark Cocker. Second place goes to Colin Blackboard. Third place goes to Paul Cooper. Race 25 then, it's a win for number 37, Mark Cosser, Carl Blind. Second number 25, Colin Blackbourne, Martin Bailey. And third number 11, Paul Cooper, Terry Madley. 37, 25, number 11. And we go to race number 26. So coming into line then for race number 26, 30 second leg of the 1000cc sidecars. On for the same, so where we go then? Charging five and uh, Mantum Roller still in the mart in the front lead going on that back straight. He's still off to do the chasing there in second place. Deeney has got the third, Bells in four, charging five. He could assist with the five and they come to complete the opening lap there. Mantum Roller still in the mart Again, often closes the gap on the entry to that pitch corner. The Super Roller is the leader. Off and again, taking a close line to the race. Super Roller is going to be interesting on that top corner. Super Roller by five seconds. Holding second, Beanie has got the third. Off and again, having a go on the front of the back of Super Roller. They still got the lead on the back of Super Roller. As Super Roller slowed up on the exit for that top corner. It's Super Roller leader. Off and still in second, just a couple of bikes down. Came to the track by off and just started following the lead. And that's the way the big roll is to get away from the front end. The big roll is still leading. But Colin Ebling, he stands in through the front. Second place still being the old that third place looking. As the leader is racing to that pitch corner for the final time then. It's Matt Boomerow has got the advantage. Off and again looking for the gap on the inside. Off and pitch up second place. BB is in third. Four Charles in fifth place. Result that race, and a win for number 15, Matt Fumarola, Andy Wilson. Second number 18, Will Offer and Ricky Pay. And third number 76, Simon Beanie and Sam P. 7, 7, 8, and 59. 15, 80, 76, 7, 7, 8, and 59. Right, they come in the line then for race number 27. He's one of the third legs of the 250 solo. David Norris on the first so and now can action in this race number 27.
red flag still raised, the line is up to the line, ready to go, we've still got a red flag there. Right, we're going this car, and David Knowles has made an absolute far, he's got away again. Looks like Cox has got out there with him as they go in that top corner for the first time. Adam Hawker towards the back, Aiden Arbor didn't make the best of start. He's got a back to the race, he's got a back as well as David David Knowles really feeling the south of the bleed. Cox to hold that second aid north as that thing is way through. He's going to be free of breath and two hard on the inside of him going into that top corner. Great ride to come around the outside to move through the second place. So Arthur's gone from third to second. Cox is third. Four, Arthur is five. Nice and six. That's the sixth foot as they go down the back straight once again. David Knowles getting far and far away. Looks like he's going to make it three to three in the heat. Top the two fifty solo. Arthur's come from nowhere to pick up a good second place. So they go on to last of the four there. Knowles the leader. Arthur has the second place. Which is in his third. from that top corner for the final time. That's three to three for the former British champion in the heat for the 250s. David Knowles wins a good ride by Aiden Arthur to pick up the second. Richard is his third. Four for five, 96. And number 40 is seventh place. The result of that heat then is win for number 64, David Knowles. Second number 60, Hayden Arthur, and third number 46, Austin Richards. 611, 50, 329, and 40. 64, 60, 46, 611, 50, 329, and number 40. Race 28, delete 57, and 66. Charlie Wood, another on beaten rider, he's in this one, along with Ricky Scarborough and Tim Gregg and Carl Beddingfield.
no flight from the end of I want for that third opening, race number 29. John Elliott's made a good gate there, Rob East is in second place, but they trying to get to on the inside, does go through on the inside then, as Elliott leads into that top corner being chased by Sludwick in second, Keith is in third, Vicky Sludwick back in fourth place, as Elliott leads in second place, Sludwick holding second place, again, trying to go around the outside of the pair, and the car is through the bottom third place at the moment, as Elliott still has the advantage, Sludwick goes through on the inside of Jacob Rudy, Rob East again trying to pass third place on the outside line, he goes through into second place on the end exit to that top corner. It's good to leave it, but he's in second. And he's in second, he's in third. He's moving on the last half of time now. So it's good to look at the making three to three in the heat of the quad. From he chased him harder in second, John Elliott coming back in third. This is good to be in third place. So it's good to be in that top corner for the final time. He makes it three to three in the heat of the quad. From he chased him second place. Race 29, the win for number 43, Colin Shrudwick. Second, number 18, Rob Heath. And third, number 7, John Elliott. Fourth, number 25, 43, 18, 7, and 25. Jordan Derrick gets out with him and he'll be moving into second place as Tuka leads into that top corner for the first time. Philby is in second, Derrick is in third. On the inside, can Kirby get back there on the outside? Now he can George Derrick making that second place kick at the moment. As Cooper Kirby in control at the front end, then Derrick holding second. Kirby has got third. Last that flag comes out there. Oh, Cooper, he's clear then. Derrick holds that second. Please go down the back straight once again then. And we can see that Paul Cooper has got the gremlin fixed for his machine after having an engine failure in his second outing. He's won in control of this leg number three. Paul Cooper gets his second win of the afternoon. Second place goes to Jordan Derrick and third is Will Thurlby. Race 30 win for number 11, Paul Cooper. Second number 247, Jordan Derrick, and third number 47, Will Thurlby. 11, 247, and 47. Race 31 should be as the programme. The line they come then for the last qualifying heat for the 500 solo. Made a good start there. They go in the back track woods, but haven't made the best of starts. And three of them in line for the second place. This and this time, worst time goes through on the inside. He goes inside the four, third and second place. Right, and comes inside the seven. And then he comes in the line. 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 And
but what a ride again by Chadworth, so completely making a mockery of the conditions. Well, they Second number 26, Luke Harris, and third 386, Steve Brook. 17, 281, 83, and 21. So 69, 26, 386, 17, 281, 83, and 21. 500 side cars, third leg is the next one there doing their cycling lap. Seventy-eight, 
726 and 758. Away we go then with the third leg of the upright, and again it's got run, it's made a good start, John Creech is on his shoulder there, as they move into that top corner on the opener then, Scott Ryan on the inside, John Creech trying to get dry around the outside, looks like Sean Bickley's got between him as they exit that man then, it is Scott Ryan who leads, and Bickley has got between him to move through in the second place, Booth is in third, Knight is in four, and a good race going on between Scott Ryan and Sean Bickley, they're shoulder to shoulder going down that back face, super action this heat, every up by Solo, Wymore Bullinger, Bickley again will rear into that top corner and try making road round the outside of Scott Ryan, but Ryan just said hold him at bay, they moving on the last half of five, and they're lost together for first and second places, Ryan on the inside, Bickley, right around the outside line, Ryan to the side, this time Bickley is going to get through, round the outside, he's going to stay down, Ryan, Ryan comes again back up to the inside, tremendous racing in these conditions, they go into that top corner, four of these four times, it's Ryan on the inside, Bickley again, Corner from right round the outside line, took a flag the race for the line, and Mr. Jackson, Mr. wins it. Ryan is in second place, super action between those two. John Priest comes across the line in third. Knight is in fourth, Jens in fifth place, and then number 11. Super racing out down around typical conditions in race number 36, won by number 45, Sean Bickley. Second number 21 beat for the first time this afternoon, Scott Ryan. And third number 5, John Priest. 209, 57, and 11. 45, 21, 5, 209, 57, and 11. Race 37 should be interesting indeed. The lead number 7. You've got Matt Fumarola, Mark Costa and Mike Austin all involved. What should be a very interesting race number 37. So crew is assembling on the start line, up from the tanks, away they go, and they're away very quickly there, Mark Cotter makes an absolute fire match. It's Boom Roller against the corner first, across the corner moving over, and that's that corner, Boom Roller again, coming back round the outside, Cotter comes again, back up the inside, Super Racer between the two, what a fabulous first corner that was there, but it's Cotter leads it, but Boom Roller holding that second place, Richard Cotter going really wide, gets the drive, coming on. Can Mike Austin get to the Adams and move through from fourth to third as they go into that top corner? He's really closed the gap. He's took 100 yards out of Adams. Can he get round him on the outside of that pitch corner? Yes, he can. Mike Austin to recover and pick up third place for Adams for the fourth place position. Cracking race again there in race number 37, won by uh, number 37, Mark Costa and Carl Blythe. Second, at number 15, Matt Fumarola, Andy Wilson. And third, 991, Mike Austin and Jordan Fish. Fourth, number 59, 37, 15, 991 and 59. Another good race in prospect, race 38, with uh, Colin Blackmore and Paul White in action. Here we go, just 
Resolved that race, then race 40 wins the number 7, John Elliott. Second number 43, Colin Goodwin, and third number 18, Rob Heath. 7, 43, and 18. So we move on now to race 42, which is the fourth leg of the 350 solos. Go then with the fourth leg of the 350. Dave Mears has jumped out to start. John Cox is going there with him. Cox in second place. Can he get to Dave Mears? He's got by him most of the afternoon. Thanks for the game. Yeah, John. Three on the outside. Looking in through the front. Cox is going to be in second. Cox is going to be in second. Cox is going to be in second. Selby's in seven. That's the top seven as they make their way down the back straight once again. It's Cox is still lead. Dave Mears hunting him down there in second place position. Fenster has got the third. Broadhurst is in fourth. On the last lap they go there, but Cox is the leader. Mears holds second. Fenster is third. Wayne Broadhurst fourth. Arnold is five. Wayne Broadhurst and Cox is six. That's the top six. If you look at John Cox, after going down that straight four, the final time. Dave Mears again is closing the gap, and he's been hunted down by Fenster. Smith, who's going to wind it on right around the outside of that final corner. Where can he get to? To the John Cox gets to the side. Fully by Ben Smith to get through the second. Dave Mears is third. Gordon is four. That's got five. Garside six. Still being seventh place. So a super ride there by Ben Smith to come through from fourth to second place. The results of that race is a win for number 611, John Cox. The second number 32, Jamie Penn Smith. Then third number 19, Dave Mears. 158, 83, 111, and 47. 611, 32, 19, 158, 83, 111, and 47. Right, race number 43 is the last of the qualifying weeks to lead 78, 726 and 758. On the line and already, already going then for this last heat of the upright solo. Scott Ryan is your lead, then John Priest has gone round the outside and take it up to lead with him. So it's Ryan who has the advantage then. Priest is trying to come back round the outside of that top corner. And Ryan still leads the distance. Priest holding second, then leads in third. Nice in four, dead in five, that's the five one. They go to the back straight once again then. Scott Ryan beating the last heat, looking up to this final heat of the upright solo. Then he's clear then for Bickley, who's now gone through in the second place. Priest has got the third. These three are a long way clear of the other riders in this race. And the last one is right there. There's the Scott Ryan. Sean Bickley still holds the second. John Priest is in third. Nice in four, dead in five. That's still the top five. And you see Scott Ryan down that back straight for the final time then. And it's the last qualifying heat of the afternoon. It's Scott Ryan who comes through to pick up 16th, number 3. John Bickley picks up the second place. John Priest is third. Nice in four. Dent in five. And then number 11, Peter Dugdale. Result of that race then is a win for number 21, Scott Ryan, second number 45, Sean Bickley, and third number 5, John Priest. 209, 57, and 11. So 21, 45, 5, 209, 57, and 11. So Ron is already out then for the 250 solo final. Sorry to give you him so quickly. Do you want to get it through? So away we go with the 250 final. David North has made a good start. Ricky Scarborough's gone up. Uh, Charlie Wood has now gone through from first to third. That's the main three of the afternoon. They're going to back me down for the 250 final. It's David North leading the morning. Charlie Wood is the top of the 
the wall is just after David Nolan is getting away from first. It's Nolan the lead then for Wood in second. Scarborough is in third. That's the top three of them. In that top corner once again, the last half flag comes out for David Nolan. And third, number 73, Carl Benningfield. 10, 50, 46, 611. So 64, 33, 73, 10, 50, 46, 611. Left hand side cars, port race 45, 124, 16. 93, 125, 4 and 96 are the numbers in bold. Problems getting one of the outfits started there for this uh, left hand final. Bad luck there on whatever outfit it was. We have got all of those there, but you know, they've got to wait for a pretty equal break. And it's two together going down that back straight for the first time. Looks like Gillis Tucks in his second. I think it's with well be Tommy Penfold, the stall in the mark at the front. We'll pick the numbers out as they come by for the first time. We've had to drop Penfold. Second place with Morris. Third place with Crapton on the front of Josh Penfold being pushed. Really hard there, going down that back straight once again. Hills have got that second in the closing the gap on the race leader. He's in turn pulling away from Morris, who's got the third place position. So it's still Josh Penfold down with George Summers in the chair. Really. Yeah. Yeah. Morris is on the third. He makes the way down the back straight for the final time. Then final race in the left handers today, and it is Josh Penfold clear at the front in this final, being pushed all the way there by Danny Hill who's got a safe second with Morris dropping back in third so it's Josh Benfold who wins the uh, left hand Josh Benfold gets the winning ride Danny Hill comes across the line in second and Darren Morris in third place Result in a race number 45 is to win for number 16, Josh Benfold and George Simmons. Second number 124, Danny Hill and Callum Ray. And third number 4, Darren Morris and Chad Williams. An ultimate race is uh, race 46, 500 solo final, 69, 26, 17, 247, 47, 386, 11, 83, 281 and 21. Obviously we've got an engine failure, Paul Cooper only getting 7th choice of gate. Uh, obviously in these difficult conditions, gating is of paramount importance, but uh, the interest to see which of him and Chad get away the quicker. They triggered us in some superb action as does Luke Harris in the thick of the action. Will Jordan Derrick has had a good afternoon so far, so we wait what could be an intriguing 500 solo final. Revving up and away they go, Cooper's got a cracking start, he's second away, he hits the front now, Luke Harris is not winning where is Chad Wilson, that's the question, he's back in about fifth or sixth place, he's going to wind it on now, but he's heading for Cooper, get away the front of his 
Starter coming down line looks like Paul Whiteland going on the inside grid. Mark Costa towards the middle. Colin Blackburn comes in inside him. Matt Pumarola going to the outside. Anthony Sowles comes inside him. And Mike Hodgkins inside him. So, interesting how we go to start. I'd say it could be so crucial late in the meeting. Six crews on the line, six good crews on the line. Starter moves away, away we go, who's going to get the drop? Crosses that way, coming back to us, that way, one way. Tremendous effort on that first corner. 
Then he dived inside Pumarol on the pitch corner and made sure he couldn't get back past him. So that was superb sidecar action. Don't forget the conditions that they are racing in. And once again proving why the big chairs are such a draw in grass track these days when they produce fantastic racing like that in ultra difficult conditions. I'm sure they're coming round on a lap of honour, so please show your appreciation for all these thousand sidecars. Fabulous final and fabulous racing all day. So Mark Costa, Carl Blythe, brilliant performance to win that final. Paul Whitecomb and Richard Webber, a tremendous performance. Colin Blackburn. Colin Blackburn comes round there. Mike Austin comes round at his lap of body. You can see they're absolutely plastered when they come round there. And Matt Pomerola and Andy Wilson coming round as well. You can see they are absolutely plastered from head to toe. But what a fabulous final that was. Result then of the big chairs final, a win for number 37, Mark Costa, Carl Blind. Second number 92, Paul Whiteman and Richard Webb. Sorry, I've got that wrong. A win comes from the 37, Mark Costa, Carl Blind. Second, number 15, Matt Fumarola, Andy Wilson. And third, number 92, Paul Whiteman and Richard Webb. Fourth, 991. And fifth, number 25. So 37, 15, 92, 991, and 25. 250 solos finishing in third place, Carl Benningfield. Second place goes to Charlie Wood. And the winner of the 250 solos, let's set, hope this sets him up for the season to come, former British champion, David Knowles. Finishing in third place in the thick of the action all day today, Jamie Fensmith. <laughs> Second place in the 350s, Dave Mears. Dave Mears for second place. No. Right, we move on then to the winner of the 350s Excellent Afternoon Racing 350 winner, John Cox. to the upright solos, finishing in third place, John Priest. Just coming through now. In second place, Sean Bickley. of the upright solo, Scott Bryan. Then to the quads now, finishing in third place, 
Second place, John Elliott. We move on then to the 500 solos next then. Finishing in third place, Luke Harris. In second place, Chad Wordsfowl. And the winner of the 500 solos is had a visit, busy day today on two wheels and three wheels, Paul Cooper. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah. Everyone then to the 500 sidecar. The place Chris Neem and Scott Dutchridge. Second place goes to Jordan Smith and Joe Page. <laughs> and the winner of the 500 side cars, Simon Field and Carl Beddingfield. Hi guys, um, I'd just like to say on behalf of all of his riders that thank you very much to the Talented Club for actually um, completing a meeting, which has taken a while, but no, um, it's, it's great, you guys have put on a lot of work and put on a lot of effort into running this meeting, it is quite early in the year so the weather is always going to be a problem, but uh, you managed to pull it off and I'd just like to congr congratulate all of you workers in the club, all people involved with the club, back of course. Uh, Carl Pugh gets a little bit of a thank you as well, it's wobbling off down there. But uh, yeah, just just thank you very much. So I like as, on behalf of all the riders, just thank you guys very much. Can we just give him a round of applause? <laughs> Sue as well, yeah. Thanks. Uh, but so uh, yeah, we, we, there was a bit of um, worry about um, the weather and things, and the final was we were all as riders kind of 
questioning whether it was a good idea to run the final, but it, it was a good final, a good, a good idea, the right idea, sorry, to run the finals because the, the track was perfect for the finals, so it was really well done. So thank you very much for having the balls to keep it running and keep it going. And uh, again, cheers to the club, and we really enjoyed it. And I'll be here again next time. What a Paul, thank you very much indeed, all the gentlemen. Paul, thanks for re endorsing his remarks. The club have done a remarkable job. Right, left hand side cars is next in third place, Darren Morris and Chad Williams. In second place, Danny Hill and Callum Ray. Yeah. Yeah, we'll have to tell him. <laughs> and the winner of the left handed side cars, Josh Penfold and George Simmons. I don't know who he is, but it feels nice. <laughs> I'm hoping he's female. Oh, it could be. Going by the height, I reckon... Oh. Could be male, though. No, it's not male. I know that cut. Thank you very much lads, we move on then to the final awards of the day for the big chairs who again did not let us down yeah, at the table line. Finishing in third place, Paul Whiteman and Richard Webb. Finishing in second place, Matt Silverola and Andy Wilson. <laughs> and the winner of the 1000cc sidecars, what a fantastic ride that was at the final. Tremendous effort winners, Mark Cosser and Carl Bly. <laughs> there are also two special presentations for the Mark Cosser at today's Ward Trophy. That goes to the winner of the thousand side cars. Dave Ward Trophy, is that right isn't it? For Mark Costa and Carl Bly, Dave Ward Trophy. So those are the awards then for the 1000cc sidecar. And another one for the winner of the 1000cc sidecar gets us of the trophy as well. Dave Tathard was your trophy, he was the treasurer of the club, Dave Tathard trophy.